some of the other trends that we're witnessing is with globalization. We have to have a very broad focus and look how this is going to affect everybody. That the state of California is going to face a $53 billion budget shortfall. Everything that gets connected to the California state budget is going to be impacted. Yes, I'm a recovering drug addict myself. I've got uh, 20 years of recovery. Uh, I got clean and sober in 2001 for the fourth and final time and uh, started the pain organization in 2009. What most people don't realize is that opioids do that. They build up a tolerance in our system to where we have to take more and more. It's not something that we can just stop doing um, because we're tired of taking them. 99% uh, of people out there need to be medically detoxed off of whether it's, again, a prescription opioid, whether it's heroin, uh, and now especially fentanyl. Um, it is, uh, again, and we are facing a crisis here in Fresno and Clovis and the Valley and the surrounding areas um, that has taken us to new heights in, in the opioid crisis. And it's, it's growing by leaps and bounds. And in fact, opioid over deaths, um, there, there are more of those than car accidents and gunshots combined in the United States. And that is a pretty alarming uh, statistic. So in 2009, when we started PAIN, this was to spread the awareness about the opioid crisis, to make our community aware, uh, trying to get schools involved, professional groups, uh, medical community involved, so we're not facing, or so we weren't gonna face this crisis. Um, but it's taken a long time, Darius, to get to, uh, to get to where we are today. And there are some great strides being made there's a lot of people on board with this, uh, but there's a lot more work that needs to be done. Um, but, and again, people have to understand there is no cure for opioid addiction. It's a manageable disease. It is not a curable disease.